Hi everyone, it's Karen. I always get questions about customizing Make It Now projects. For example, if you wanted to change the text of, a, of what's written on a card. So for example, I'm going to make this card and I'm going to show you what to do. If I click it, it shows me the details of what's in that card. There's an item here, it says purchased and it has the A beside it. So that means that it's part of the Cricut Access subscription but also that I have it on a cartridge that I have purchased. And if you want to see details of what you need, these are the details. You need an Explore machine, you need a standard grip mat, a scoring stylus, a pen, different types of paper. They're listed here, some adhesive, and then the instructions are here. But if you wanted to customize this, what you do is you click the Customize button at the very bottom right side of your screen, and now it's going to bring all those elements for that project onto your canvas and you can change things. So let's say I don't want to say Happy Holidays. I want to say Merry Christmas. So what I would do is I would click where I see Happy Holidays. I'm going to right click and I'm going to detach because that has been attached to the card. And now when I click Happy Holidays, you can see that I can click it separately. So if I come over here into the Layers panel, and if it's not selected, you know, if something else is selected, just click layers, then you're going to see all your layers here. I'm going to find my text and that's this right over here. It has a pen beside it. If I hide it, if I want to make sure this is the right thing, I'll hide it. And you see it's hidden now. And that's how you hide something as you click this eye until there's a line through it. And to display it again, I just click it again. If you look at the icon, you see there's a little white area in there. And when you click it, it shows you that this is a right icon. If I come down here and I click this one, it shows you it's the scoring icon. It's a little bit hard to see, but there is a dashed line there and you don't see that white space there. It's a stylus and this is a pen. So I don't want this text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it and I'm going to add my own text and I'm going to say Merry Christmas. So if you notice, I click the add text icon over here that brought up a box into which I type my text. It brings it up in this font to change it. I need to click the edit panel and I'm going to choose a writing style because I want it to be written with a pen. So I need to choose has a writing style and then it's going to display for me all of the fonts that have a writing style. And then I can choose from there and I want something that's a nice looking script and I actually like this quite a bit so to make that look a little bit better I'm going to bring the letters closer together and I'm going to decrease the letter spacing and you see how they're moving closer together and that looks much more like a script font now then I'm going to just move it over here should be a little bit smaller still so I'm just going to make that smaller this way by dragging the selection handle. And then I'm going to select that and my card. And I'm going to click the align button, center horizontally so that it's centered on my card. And then I'm going to select my text and my card and I'm going to attach them. Now when I click go, you'll see how everything is going to be set up for you. Here's your base layer for your card. This is the portion that's going to cut out here. My text is going to be written with a pen over here. You can see that there's a cut icon and a write icon. Here there's a cut icon and a scoring icon. And let's go back over here and you'll see this is the scoring line. And by the way, if for any reason you want to move something on your screen, just select it and then move it around then it will cut in this area of your paper. So let's say you have a piece of paper that's got a piece cutting out over here and you want it to cut from this corner, go ahead and do that. Same thing applies over here, just select it and move it if you want to. Everything that is here has been attached so it will cut and write in exactly the right places. This is your envelope. It has a cut line and a scoring line because there are scoring lines for your envelope. Okay, so I'm just going to put this back where it was. From this point, you would go ahead and cut out your card and assemble it. 
So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.